I think the major theme to Olaf's Frozen Adventure is really family. Uh, and not just your biological family, but your, your, um, your friendship family, you know. Uh, here, Olaf really finds that he's part of uh, Anna and Elsa's family, as is Sven and as is Kristoff. And I think that, you know, that is kind of the joy of his discovery in this whole piece. I think in this piece, Josh really kind of embodies Olaf, and he's been such a great partner in terms of discovering what, you know, wh what we can do with Olaf. Because Olaf is really a newly minted character. He's really n never seen any of these traditions before in his life. And so his discovery is really kind of like a child opening his eyes to the world. And he really embraces everything and that's what we love about him but the thing that he embraces most is the fact that he wants to make the the two girls Anna and Elsa the happiest women in the world and that's what I think we we fall in love with Olaf because of that yeah. you know Josh really embodies nothing but joy in this character uh, working with him is always fun working you know hearing him just kind of riff on our script He's able to find Olaf just through, you know, it's almost become part of his soul. You know, one of the things that we strove to do when we started this was to really explore Olaf in a, in a broader sense. Um, you know, he, he is a sidekick initially, but here we wanted to really see what we could do in terms of finding some of the, the emotional depth that he might feel. And really, you know, being kind of a child himself, it's not hard to see that he could be a very emotional guy. I, I think the thing that I really love about this piece is that their relationship has really evolved. I was watching the film uh, uh, probably about a month ago, and they had a tough time in that film. And here you can see that they have really embraced sisterhood, and they really love one another and they're just trying to work out how to make everything work between themselves. I think one of the greatest days on this project was watching Adina perform her song. Uh, we were all sitting uh, in the booth as she stepped up to the mic and collectively we watched everyone's jaw drop as her special power, you know, Elsa has special magic powers Adina has a voice, and that voice is so spectacular. It, it just makes that character come alive. Kristen Bell is truly one of the most energetic people that I know, and she brings such a sense of joy to Anna. And, you know, her, her she knows Anna inside out. This is the thing that's so fascinating. And as we were actually recording, she would tell us, well, you know, Anna wouldn't say this. Anna would actually say that. And uh, we, we, we took away a big lesson from that. We were very lucky to get Kate and Elisa to do our music. Uh, Kate Anderson and Elisa Samsel have an amazing uh, uh, theatrical career, and to get them to come in and do this was just a big boon for us. You know, the first song in the piece is called Ring in the Season, and uh, it's a really wonderful call to arms in terms of what this film is about. Uh, it's opening the door to the holidays, it's opening the door to the castle, it's opening the door to the predicament that these characters are in. And, uh, you know, Kate uh, Anderson and Elisa Samsel, who wrote that song, uh, have been so good in terms of what they've brought to uh, this film. Yeah, you know, the Ballad of Flemingrad is uh, really a, about bringing in uh, a tradition that is absolutely, to us, see, which would seem some absurd, but to Kristoff is one of the dearest things in his life. You know, we all have uh, traditions that are a little kooky, and uh, he's actually sharing one of the kookiest with his, with his dear ones. Michael Giamo, who was our art director, did such an amazing job in terms of creating uh, Arendelle in the original movie. And then for this film, he really decided to kind of pull out all the stops in terms of redefining the look of, 
of the holidays. And using a lot of research from Norway and from the Scandinavian countries, he was able to find a color palette that is absolutely unique to our world. And I think it really brings a, a, a deep beauty to the, to, to the film. My favorite holiday tradition is actually we go out every holiday and we buy a living Christmas tree and we tug that thing into the house because it's a big heavy pot on the bottom. We lug it up 30 stairs because I live up in a, on top of a hill and then we decorate it and then at the end of the, the season we pull it out and then eventually go dig a big hole and now I have, I've been living in my house for 18 years, I have 18 Christmas trees that are like growing up along the back of my property.